We know of many other early references to Christ by pagan writers, but there are also manuscripts from the 1st and 2nd centuries written by Christians. Other 1st and 2nd century writers who wrote about Jesus as the Son of God, the promised Messiah, and the Lord of creation are Clement, the Bishop of Rome, the writer of the Epistle of Barnabas, Polycarp, the student of the Apostle John, Ignatius, the Bishop of Antioch, Irenaeus, the second-century Bishop of Lyons, Tertullian, a second-century apologist, and Clement, the second-century Bishop of Alexandria. Despite the overwhelming testimony from the early centuries that confirmed the Gospel stories, the higher critics continued to search for their historical Jesus. The Jesus Seminar was a collection of skeptics and doubters uh, who worked in theological uh, professions in secular universities uh, whose purpose was to try and use literary, historic, and uh, various other kinds of criticism to come up with what they could be certain was true in the Gospels which basically meant that they were going to try and cut out anything that they couldn't believe. The Jesus Seminar has uh, used faulty premises, faulty professional um, uh, assumptions. They, they have been sloppy in their edits and their redactions. Their criticisms have been refuted with 20 centuries of apologetics, uh, from from the Christian world. They've ignored virtually all of the textual evidence that has uh, been accumulated over the course of 20 centuries. So the bottom line is the Jesus Seminar has no real academic credibility. 20 centuries of skeptics have attacked the text of Scripture, have attacked the Gospels, you know, if, if the same level of scrutiny were played, uh, played out in the classics and were applied to Plato or Aristotle, we would have no classics. <laughs> the, the, the texts would not be able to stand up. But the text of Scripture, and particularly the text of the Gospels, has been able to withstand every attack by every brilliant skeptic and every agnostic and every atheist. Uh, every assault that has ever been thrown at it has been rebuffed. Um, the textual integrity of the New Testament is a matter of record. The consistency of the texts over the course of time, the verification of the texts uh, dating back to uh, deep antiquity, and the consistency of the information is beyond anything else that we have in all of ancient literature. The fact is, is that we have more authentication for the biblical text in the Gospels than we do for Shakespeare's plays. Contrary to what the liberals of the Jesus Seminar tell us, we have far more than likelihood and possibility to confirm the reliability of the gospel stories. We have substantial, authentic evidence that the Jesus of history is the same person revealed to us in the gospel accounts. We have the first and second century apologists who wrote extensively about Jesus and Christianity. Some of these were men who knew the apostles. They were reliable second-generation historians who were taught by the apostles, who were in turn alive during the ministry of Jesus. The fact that early Christians recorded their own history does not discount their reliability. Christianity is not a religion that has its origins in shadowy legends, but rather has definite historical roots, strong personalities, and a tremendous amount of source documents to prove